Everybody is hoping for a big breakout on Bitcoin and the majority of these people will be losing money right now attempting to trade those breakouts. I will be showing you in this video the strategy that you should be implementing and using right now to be able to make profits on Bitcoin alongside us. So this is what I was looking at. This is from the daily update that I gave to my team back on the 30th. Okay, so I was actually looking after recognizing we've now swing failure pattern the high into the CC. We got to look for the short here and I'm going to look to bring that short down to around the zone of 26,600. Okay, this is my zone of support. Okay, so you can see my initial thought here is, okay, I'm looking to, going to look to short here, going to look for the retest. I want to see bearish divergences on the retest, stop loss above the high of the swing failure pattern, bring it down to around my support zone. From that support zone, I'm going to look for a long and trade it back up. Okay, range bound trading environment. Okay, well, what happened next? Well, we actually, if we look along here, we got the retest of the daily. So this, we actually had a daily zone here. So we got the retest of our daily and we had very big bearish divergences. This is exactly what we want to see. Okay, so here you can see a lower high being formed on the retest. And this is what we call bearish divergences on the CVD. Okay, so this shows us, this is a strategy that we really love. Uh, when we've just seen a swing failure pattern off of a significant level that we're aware of, what happens next is lots of market longs are starting to come in and your limit orders, which are your bigger players, are sat there absorbing those orders. With this indicator, we can see that and it gives us a very good high probability short trade. Okay, In the end, very nice indeed. Come up into the daily zone, bear a CVD and we actually swing failure pattern these series of highs. So we got a few different strategies in play here along with the bearish Elliott wave count, which I'll show you in a minute. But as we see here, you know, big bearish CVD, okay? It, it, you know, another thing to pay attention to is they were the Bybit CVD divergences that were bearish, okay? If you looked at Binance, OKEx, uh, BitMEX, you know, they, they weren't there. So the Bybit order flow gave us those bearish CVD divergences. And it's like we say there, we had the Eagle confluence, we had the bearish CVD, of course, profits to come, right? We had the CME gap too. So this is another reason why we were expecting lower come down and fill that CME gap here. It's not quite filled. So we're still coming down to fill that CME gap. Okay, big support zone that we can see here around 26,700 zone. Okay, that's where we got weekly naked pointer controls, weekly level, daily naked pointer controls. Telling my team that's where I'm waiting for. I'm gonna remain patient, short on Bitcoin, still wanna see lower. We had the bearish Elliott wave count as well. A, B, C, X wave, okay. So if you want to learn Elliott Waves, we've now got that on our website too, right? So we had the Elliott Waves strategy coming in here. And then here we come down finally to that support zone. This is where then we were planning out on the 30th. Actually, we were also planning this out on the 28th from the Champions live stream. You know, I've recognized on the Sunday Champions live stream, this is the zone of support where I want to look to long. OK, a few days, well, actually one day later, a few days later, right? Two days later, well, we had then seen the SFB, still telling my team from the Sunday's Champions live stream swing trade. We're then getting a bit more of a zoomed in view. And then, well, on the 1st of June, we come down and hit that zone. I was saying exactly then what I wanted to see. Not long yet. We have hit the weekly. We have hit those NPOCs. But I want to see one more take of the low and then activate the long trade. What happened next? We've got one more take of the low activated the long trade brings us up to where we are now so what i'm going to do is i'm going to zoom in here i'm going to hide these levels i'm going to bring on our other levels that we got so we can see that npoc that we wanted to see taken down here okay did come and get taken out as we actually took out this low that we had marked as a key level yesterday okay so i'm now going to remove this as a, as a hit level so I hope that you've enjoyed that initial walkthrough of what we had going on here, okay? How we originally swing failure pattern, the high. We then got a retest with very big bearish CVD divergences. We then got our subsequent move to the downside, okay? Into our big level of support that we were looking at from last month. Once hitting that, I gave a live stream update. I wanna see the low taken one more time. We then got that low taken one more time and it activated a long trade. And from here, we've obviously got a fairly nice rise to the upside locally. Not only myself able to make profits on that, but I want to give a shout out to some champions who are alongside me, all short with that retest, 
with the bearish CVD at the channel high at around 28,300. So you can see myself and other champions all getting that short trade entry, Apex by a bit, you know, really nice to see a lot of people making some great profits alongside me on these short trades. Of course, now we've activated the long trade and we've got a little bit of a rise to the upside. Again, myself and the other champions able to get into these positions are why? Well, we had the plan, we traded the plan, and we made our profits. And from here, we're in a very kind of privileged or good position to be in. We're shorts at the highs, longs at the lows, and now we're able to wait and see the hand of the market. Okay, this is what you got to do. you got to now have the patience to see the hands, okay? Be the casino, wait on the other players, and then, you know, come along and take their profits. You know, take take away the profits, take away the money. Again, if you want to win, some of the, somebody else is losing. So be on the winning side. You know, the majority of the people looking for the breakout here, you know, this is where you look for the shorts, where everybody's looking to long the breakout. Oh, my God, we're breaking out. No, this is a swing failure pattern. This is a short zone. You pull back down here, everybody's getting bearish, okay? Early longs getting stopped out on the SFP, or the SFP is where we look for that long trade. We get the long trade entry. We got a, well, not a massive reaction, but at least over a 1% bounce for a take profit one. Then we can be confident in our analysis, looking for what is going to come next. And one of our bigger levels now to come into play. I want to end with a shout out here for Severin, uh, who's been showing off his new strategy. It's like an upgraded, um, you know, alternative version of the CCV, uh, sorry, CCTR setup. Um, really nice to see other users and other members within the Chart Champions community really taking advantage, learning that, and now seeing, you know, as this guy says, super satisfying to see those entries after waiting patiently, even if it is they're on his demo account. You know, these people are coming in, putting an effort, learning, practicing with the strategies that we teach and now able to make some profits. Okay, it's on his demo account, but nevertheless, this is what's going to give him the confidence to start pulling those trades on real accounts when the time comes. Another good comment here with the shout out to Severin, who nailed two calls on his daily update yesterday. He didn't take the de-open scalp, but he did the single print. Okay, single prints is another strategy that we use. Again, we'll talk within chart champions very profitable trades so it's good to see other champions really you know taking advantage of the strategies that we've taught all the new content that we've made uh, and you know may able to make profits themselves you know that's what we're here for at the end of the day right to teach you to make your own trades and profits again we can give you guidance we can give you assistance on that um, but at the end of the day you are the person pulling the trigger you are the person in control of your own destiny and fate at the end of the day, right? We're just here to help you along the way. So it's a pleasure to see many people loving those new strategies, making some profits alongside us. And yeah, if you'd like to get involved, you know where to do that, chartchampions.com. It's where you got the inbuilt journals to journal your trades, the live trading streams, new live trading stream added next week for the first time ever. You're not going to have two coaches on live trading every week. Uh, you got the new strategies to be learning. And of course, you got everything taught in this video from Elliott Waves to the order flow. Um, everything, all available to learn via the website. I'm going to wrap it up there. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And let's remain a bit patient now to see how this next bit of price action plays out. And as always, we will be giving the updates live in the time before anyone else over on the Discord.